Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York and today is Sunday, Sunday the 14th. That's the day that I will be opening the envelope to find out who wins the flag, which I forgot to bring in here. <laughs> I'll have to go get it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm right back. Did you miss me? I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, I also want to show you an egg. Today I went out to the chicken house and I got five eggs. And one of the eggs, oh my goodness, my carton won't even close. Look at this. I can't even, I can't even close the carton. I can't close it. I put this on the side. This side's empty. But I can't even close the carton. <laughs> it's so big. Let me show you in real, in real life what it looks like. Okay, if I open the carton, oh gosh, this is what it looks like in the carton. It's so tall, it's so big. Now we'll show you with it next to another egg. Look at this, it's unreal, it's huge. It's probably got two yolks in there. This would be one you would not want to try to hatch because if there's two babies in there, that could be disastrous. The, they may not make it. Well, they might, but they may not. So you don't want to try it. But anyways, I wanted to show you that egg. I have to put that egg away. I thought that was really kind of interesting. Okay, and another thing I wanted to talk about was today when I was listening to a, a video and they talk about their what we call pastures. They call them paddocks. And I don't know if there's a difference or not, but I noticed um, the paddocks don't have trees in them usually. They're just kind of fenced in areas that the animals will go to, whereas our pastures were permanent. We did not move our pastures, they were permanent. We had two pastures. We had the big pasture and the little pasture. And we used to walk the cow from the barn to the small pasture. And when we felt they were in that pasture long enough, then we'd walk them down to the large pasture, which was down the road further and they were with barbed wire fences. They weren't movable fences. We couldn't change the shape of it in any way, but they had a large area and the area also went across the creek. Um, I also was watching, I'm, oh gosh, what's Bob's channel again? Mountain something. Mountain Crest, Mountain Crest. Oh, Bob. I don't know. I have to look it up. Now hold on. I'll be right back when I get it. Okay. I was watching. I, I got it, Bob. I, I, I found it. It's Mountain Crest Farms. I was watching Bob. And he was doing some fancy stuff with his camera. I really, really, really want to know how you do that. Where you have the, the camera where you look, it looks like, you know, when you see people that have two cameras, they can do that, but I, I know you're doing it with one, and I don't know how you're doing it, but where you're, you're, you're like normal like me, and then all of a sudden, you're like this, but I don't know how you do it, <laughs> so you're going to have to share that with us, so we can find out how to do that. Um, oh, and he was also talking about how people are friendlier down south, and you know, it's true. When I was younger and was traveling with my girlfriends, we would go down to, well, as far, we would go to Virginia, we would go to Georgia, and when we would get to these places, and we would go, because we, we were young, we would go clubbing, okay, so, <laughs> my husband, alrighty, yes, we used to go out, and no sooner would we walk into a place when we were down past Virginia or any of those states down there we would no sooner walk into a place somebody would be walking up to us asking us to dance whereas back home here you could be in there all night and nobody will even approach you it's they're not as friendly and um, I remember the one time I was I had gone to um, it was Virginia I think I was in and this guy comes up to me and asks me to dance and while we're dancing he says do you hustle well, in my mind, hustling was not something you did. I didn't know there was a dance called the hustle. And thank goodness I said no. <laughs> because I had no clue what he was talking about. But it was a dance. 
that he was talking about. So that was when the hustle was around in the 80s, I, I think, or no, 70s. 70s. It would have been 70s because I got late married 70s. in the early mid, 80s. Mid to late 70s. Mid to late 70s. Well, anyways, so I learned how to do the hustle. But a good thing, I, I thought, wow. All I said was no. That's <laughs> <laughs> a good thing I didn't say anything more. But that was something that happened down south. Um, and Bob had said it was a good day, and as soon as he said that, the the song, it's a good day for singing the news, oh, it's a good day for shooing the blues, that song comes into my head every time. Okay, may I have the envelope, please? <laughs> Here comes the envelope, see? It's still got the writing on it, it's still got the staples and the tape on it, and the little piece of paper, I can see it through there, it's right in this section. I will rip the envelope open. Dun, da, da, da. Now can I have the notebook too? That's over there with everybody's number was written on it. I wrote everybody's number down when you as I was reading your comment. Oh gee, I gotta I gotta break it more. It's the staples holding it in there. Oh thank you. I've got everybody's number on here. I wrote down everybody's number. And there's a few numbers on the on this side too, there's a numbers. And my number that I chose, oh, so sad, everybody was so much higher. But the number I chose was my age. I am 67, that's the number I chose. And the only one that got anywhere near it without going over it was a B's kitchen recipe vlog and vlog got he 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 did number twenty one which was the closest so so A B's S A B's A B apostrophe S kitchen recipe vlog and vlog you are the winner of my flag you get the flag so now what you have to do is send me an email I will put my email again in the about so if you see the where it says read more my email will be there it's also in my about section if you were to read about me where it says my name is Nona Grace and I'm a wife and mother and grandmother and that stuff it, it's also in there in that section but I will put it in the little spot underneath this video that will say more Just and you perfect. click on more and you'll find me and then send me an email by, the date was Wednesday, I wrote it on here, by Wednesday the 17th of July, I would like to receive an email from you. And when I get your email telling me your address that you're in the United States, that I will mail this out to you and you will get the flag. And I will, I will, um, let everybody know that I've mailed it the day I mail it so hopefully you get it within a few days I'm hoping and then you can also let me know when you got it I will probably send it with a tracking number I would think so that I can at least follow it as long as it stays in the States I can follow it so that's the video of today let's see was there anything else I wanted to tell you I always think of stuff after I'm I've hung up like when you say you hang up the phone while I turn off the camera I always think of something as I'm sitting there loading it into the computer and um, I think, oh, I should have said that, but I can't think of anything at this moment. So I will talk to you all. Oh, we want to know about today? Maybe a little bit before I hang up? Okay. Um, I got to, I had to go to the fairgrounds and what it is, is I'm helping the, them to set up because Flora Hall is where there's people bring in things to be judged and some of the stuff they bring in is crazy really crazy but there's some things that people have made we had um, three departments we did the paintings and the pictures and drawing then we had the collectibles which was another category which could have been last year we got some really weird stuff this year we got some things that smelled like mothballs and it was really stinky but they were old clothes and so they probably wanted to keep them from getting mothy so they had mothball smell and it smelled like an old lady's analgesic something or other 
And then there's the ones where if you are artistic and you make things out of metal or wood or um, just anything that you make things out of, then that's, that was another section that we had. So we had three sections. And Saturday is when everybody can bring their stuff in. Sunday is when we did the rearranging. So when the judge came in, they would say, show me this number, and you could tell them how many are there, and then they would decide whether it's a red rib, a blue ribbon, red ribbon. The one never gave any yellow ribbons. She gave either, you either got a red or a blue ribbon. She gave one blue, and the rest would be red because they would all be so darn good. She says it's, it's a shame not to give them all the, the second place. So she didn't give any, but the other judge... She did give um, a few yellow ribbons out, and she gave a couple of the, um, where you just get a little sticker that says that you entered into the fair, but it really doesn't mean too much. And then there was two that got nothing. They were, uh, somebody brought in pencils. I'm like, really, <laughs> pencils? And somebody else brought in bouncy balls. Hmm, no. <laughs> she didn't feel that they deserved anything. So they didn't even get a little sticker. But that's what we did today. And today I got to come home earlier because everything was done sooner. And then you place everything around in the in that area so that it looks like there's a lot of stuff when there really isn't all that much stuff. But there was enough. There was like 54 things in the one department and 60 in another department and 45 in another. So there was a fair amount of stuff. But the area is really big, so you have to make it look like you've got a lot of stuff. And... A large area but it's really not that much stuff well that was today and I got home early and I'm rested I'm not tired today yesterday I was exhausted but and I've caught up on my comments and I've caught up I think on some of my videos I've been watching videos and I didn't realize it was so late that's how come this is kind of on the late side so I guess I better stop talking before this goes over 15 minutes because I don't like to I don't know how to make it go into the computer if it's longer so I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.